Hello everyone and welcome to today's webinar, a visual guide to the top 10 trends in beverage packaging. My name is Nick Taylor and today we'll be discussing the hot trends in the world of beverage packaging. Our speakers today are Fabrice Becker, Business Manager, Rigid Packaging Applications at Husky Injection Moulding Systems, and Sylvan Tallarico, Global PET Tooling Director at Husky Injection Moulding Systems. Just before we get started, I have some housekeeping items to go over. If you have any questions for our speakers, please type them in the Q&A box below and hit the submit button. We will answer as many questions as time allows. If you experience any technical difficulties while viewing the webinar, please refresh your browser as this clears up most problems. If this does not help, then just type the issue into the Q&A box and a member of our technical team will assist you. Okay, with that cleared up, I would like to hand off to our first speaker. Fabrice, take it away. Okay, thank you very much. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are. Thank you very much for your time to join this Husky webinar. As I was introduced, my name is Fabrice Baker, and I will drive you through these top 10 market trends. Husky is in a fortunate position of being at the forefront of market trends and the evolution of beverage packaging. Husky has an impressive worldwide injection molding system installed base, which means that at any point of time, we are deeply involved in the majority of new and innovative package development projects taking place all around the world. Of course, we do work on these package development projects in close collaboration with all major customers, design agencies, and all major packaging line equipment suppliers. That is the reason why we have a clear understanding and analysis of the beverage market trends. Beverage packaging has really evolved a lot in recent years, driven by a number of forces, including technology innovations, changing consumer preferences, increased competition, and new legislative requirements. This evolution was disrupted over the past year as COVID-19 sent shockwaves throughout world markets. This year, we do expect the disruption from COVID variants to continue, but that the longer term evolutionary market trends will continue to unfold at varying rates. This market trend presentation is divided in two parts. The first top five trends are still connected to COVID variants, and the next top five trends are more mid and long term, involving sustainability, smart packaging, and tethering. As already said, the global pandemic had a big impact on patterns of consumption. A general trend that we observed was a, a polarization of size preferences moving away from the mid-size segment towards large multi-serve sizes and towards smaller sizes sold in multi-packs. As consumers stocked up ahead of lockdowns, we saw an uptick in demand for larger formats from 1.5 liter and up. We also saw increased demand for smaller formats sold in multipacks, and not individually anymore, as it was the case with the on-the-go or ready-to-go conception. Here are some examples of applications that demonstrate this trend, including small water formats and small functional healthy drinks sold in multipacks, as well as a large format, large format waters sold in four liters and up. We have also seen on the market some food applications, such as edible oils, being sold in larger format sizes, above 1.5 and 2 liters. It may be some time before these consumption trends stabilize into the next normal, 
So producers need to remain agile and adaptable throughout 2021. For sure, PET has many great advantages compared to other packaging materials with its freedom of design and flexibility and its convenience for large size containers. One of the most dramatic developments resulting from COVID-19 was the explosion of e-commerce across all consumer categories. In the beverage world, this led to an increase in home delivery of everything from individual alcohol purchases to beverages purchased as part of a grocery orders. As more products are offered online, producers will need to be more conscious of how their packaging holds up under different shipping and delivery scenarios. With e-commerce in mind, PET packaging becomes a very compelling option for producers this, since it is less prone to breaking and damage during delivery. PET does also help package to be lighter in weight, and that really helps to reduce CO2 footprint. As an average, PET packaging is eight to 10 times lighter than glass packaging, for example. The global pandemic brought hygiene and food safety to the forefront, and consumers are now more hygiene conscious than ever. Many more consumers are opting for safe packaging options, such as PET bottles, which are resealable and have drinking surfaces free from exposure to airborne contaminants, unlike cans. Regardless of what lies ahead with COVID-19, it is likely that these hygiene-related preferences are here to stay for the long term. Producers will need to take this into account as they choose packaging solutions for the application. The fourth trend is new considerations for product preservation, which is linked to product integrity in regards to product shelf life. Indeed, the, the impact of COVID-19 has, has seen some products sitting on shelves for longer period or packaged in smaller sizes for sales in multipacks. Both of these factors make it more of a challenge to keep product preserved up to the point of consumption. As a result, we are seeing more producers focusing on ways to prolong shelf life using technologies like coating and multi-layer packaging solutions, which aid in the preservation and protection for those applications like dairy products, sensitive beverages, and small formats, carbonated soft drink, for example. Here are some examples of our multi-layer packaging solutions for beer, juice, carbonated soft drink, and dairy applications. Each of these applications needs specific protection from oxygen ingress, CO2 loss, and light exposure to guarantee product shelf life. In the middle layer, as shown in black in the preformed picture on the right, active or passive barrier can be ejected in a very thin layer. Migrating to multi-layer does offer some additional benefits, including lighter weight package with less additives, uh, active or passive, as well as improved aesthetic and shelf appeal, as it is shown on, on the slide. Recent years, have seen a rise in, in demand for health-oriented beverages, such as functional drinks. 
COVID-19 has accelerated that trend with brands responding by adding immune boosting options and sensitive ingredients into the mix. Functional beverages are recognized with health benefits to organs such as the heart, gastrointestinal tract, joints, and enhanced immune functions. Here is a sampling of some health-focused beverages that started the trend some years ago. Uh, you can see core hydration in North America, electrolyte water in Mexico, and Meiji yogurt in, in Japan. In functional drinks, there are many different product categories with antioxidant, nutraceutical, bioactive compounds, probiotic, and prebiotics. All market segments are concerned. Water with enhanced water, caffeine water, coconut water, juices and smoothies, and also kombucha tea, cold brew coffees, energy drinks, CBD drinks, and many other alternative dairy products. This is part of an overall trend towards consumers looking for more diverse beverage options, leading to SKUs, stock keeping units, proliferation, which is resulting in a larger and more fragmented product landscape. Again, this means that in order to remain competitive, producers need to be agile and adaptable to produce larger portfolios of applications. The trend towards more sustainable packaging and manufacturing processes is here to stay for the long term. This trend is really mandatory with new legislation like single-use plastics regulation in Europe and some circular economy commitments driven by Ellen MacArthur organization in which ASCII is an active member. We see this evolution embodied by leading brands such as Ice River Springs, Nestle Waters, Coca-Cola companies, company, Danone, who have already introduced packaging made from 100% recycled PET. The top sustainability trends we expect to see in 2021 include reduced use of PET resin uh, through uh, light weighting initiatives, increasing use of recycled PET, and increased conversion to recycled PET from other packaging materials that are non-food grade recyclable in a circular economy stream like polypropylene and polystyrene. We are also involved in the use of alternative materials such as biosourced materials, biodegradable or compostable materials with tailor-made tailor -made injection process settings to keep resin integrity. Some examples of these materials are PLA, PHA, PEF, PVOH, and so on. Over the last three years, we noticed a, a proliferation of beverage bottles made with recycled PET. Here are some examples that we exposed already at an early stage at K show 2019. Here on the left, you can see a 100% recycled PET carbonated water bottle produced by the German company Share, well known for its humanitarian business model. Second left bottle, the Arid bottle, which means uh, will be in Latin. This Arid light green water bottle was really an innovation and collaboration project between major companies how the know-how of different companies joined together could offer new opportunities of development in the packaging sector. Clarient delivered a, a new optimized color master batch, five times more efficient in order to reduce the load of colorant to make PET recycling stream cleaner. PET Engineering, now called Gentle Brand, designed a very appealing bottle with vertical ribs 
in order to be collapsible in the reverse vending machines at supermarkets, in order to save collecting storage space. And Avery Denison engineered a, a clean flake glue that allows stickers made by Arrow Group to be removed without any glue left on the container. So in that way, the PET recycling stream stays cleaner. In this development, Husky injected 100% recycled PET resin and provided premium tethered closure solutions in regards to single-use plastic European regulation. On the right, you can see a, a 330 milliliter CSD bottle and a 500 ml sparkling water that we designed in collaboration with Cidel in order to offer packages that are both lightweighted at only 12.1 gram and made of 100% recycled PET, still offering same bottle performances as with PET virgin resin. These bottles were also designed with the new 2622 CSD neck finish and Husky 2622 CSD closure that offer a total weight saving of 2 gram on dispensing system compared to a 1881 neck finish dispensing solution. Recycled PET price is higher than virgin PET uh, because of its current volume of production. So any kind of lightweighting initiatives like neck conversions are most welcome to optimize total cost of ownership. In trend five, we, we mentioned that the, the popularity of health-focused beverages has been driving a trend towards more diverse packaging and stock keeping units proliferation. Another driver of SKU's proliferation is the popularity of premium products aimed at niche markets. Here is a sampling of some innovative premium packaging made with our multi-layer platform. From left to right, you can see thermochromic bottle with surfaces that change color with temperature from pink to purple here in this case. And then you can see three containers with color gradient effect by positioning color effect wherever you want to. And on the right, a glow in the dark bottle. The success of these products is due in a large part to packaging innovations that give products a premium look and feel and help them stand out from the competition. As producers seek new ways to engage with consumers and differentiate from their competition, from the com their competitors, we are also seeing a rise in more personalized packaging. A popular early example of this was Coca-Cola company's campaign to place individual names on bottles. Many brands are now taking this to the next level, offering personalized packaging to order with e-commerce, with customizable imagery and text configurable by the consumer on the internet application, on the internet app. One accelerant of this trend has been the evolution of laser printing technologies that print directly onto PET bottles or even labels. Here is one example of what's possible. This package called Mobile won the Pent Awards in 2019. It was designed by Gentle Brand with Gabriel Kemi Group. Main packaging Equipment manufacturers like Kronos, Cidel can provide this kind of laser printing technology also. Laser printing are two types. Carbonization, that can expose the carbon by eating plastic polymers, and foaming, that creates CO2 by 
oxidizing carbon in plastics. This technology can support laborless bottle trend. That is also a key trend coming with already some market references like Danone Evian, Coca-Cola company water bottles in Korea and Japan. Husky is also developing this laser technology combined with multi-layer solutions and that will bring tremendous additional advantages compared to these existing market solutions. It will be presented in the near future as a major step forward. We are seeing a growing number of beverage package designs that incorporate smart technologies, including QR codes, RFID chips, and NFC chips that do not require any internet connection to transfer data. These technologies are being used to deliver immersive and interactive experiences for consumers and provide valuable additional information about products. Another key driver of smart packaging is that it enables products to be easily traced in the supply chain and authenticated as well. Smart packaging is an exciting vector for beverage packaging, and we expect to see much wider adoption in the coming years. This technology opens the door to numerous applications, including anti-counterfeiting for premium brands, interactive marketing campaigns, consumer digital com experience as well, supply chain control with location monitoring, temperature and light exposure monitoring, and even monitoring of when the package was open for better control of the product shelf life. No need for price scanning anymore with contactless payment with your mobile. Even package can sound alarm for medical applications and so on. Here is an example with interactive experience with NFC wireless data transfer that gives you direct access to product intelligence, product specifications, and even more. This technology can support laborless trend as described before by having NFC chips located inside the closure and by giving product information without any nutrient content stickers. As part of a broader sustainability initiative, the European Union with single-use plastic regulations will require tethered closures for most single-use plastic containers by 2024. We expect other regions around the world to adopt similar legislation soon. It is just a matter of when, not if. We are seeing growing trend of adoption of tethered closures by producers who are looking to get ahead of the legislation. Brands have also turned to tethering as a way to introduce a unique premium experience as a point of differentiation from their competitors. Current interest in tethering suggests that the coming year will be a breakout year for tethered closures worldwide. Here is an example of tethered closure design that meets compliance requirements and also provide a premium consumer experience. There are three different types of design that are single and double-ish, snap-on, and premium tethered. At Husky, <clears throat> we have a complete portfolio of tethered closure solutions with these three types of design. This closure in particular on the screen is our premium tethered version with a patented inch design and locking feature that allows to keep closure in position at 180 degrees opening. So we have completed the, the review of this top 10 market trends. I really hope that uh, you enjoyed it and I hope 
it will bring you that it will bring you some new business opportunities. Now, please let me introduce you to, to Silva Terrarico, who will carry on the second part of the presentation. Thank you, Fabrice, and hello, everybody, from wherever you're coming in. I'm very glad to be in today, and I hope to find you well and safe. Thanks again for this uh, great summary, Fabrice. Uh, I guess this is really insightful, and I'm sure it gives already the audience some great thoughts to further develop a new packaging solution. And now you will see how Husky can support your business to further enhance these market trends. Our review of top trends shows that this is one of the most dynamic periods in the history of beverage packaging. With that, of course, comes both big challenges and big opportunities. Capitalizing on these trends will require producers to stay agile and alert to the ongoing changes. Successful producer will learn into the expertise of experienced partners, such as Husky, who can help them evolve quickly and with minimal risk. We are privileged and excited to be part of that process for so many customers worldwide. So now let's go into a little more details about each of these points. Let's look first at the Husky's recently introduced Next Pet system. Here, we have designed and evolved a flexible, purpose built mid volume system on top of our proven technology, specifically engineered to help producers be more agile and adaptable. This means that producers are getting the highest quality system with the least amount of risks and no surprises. Our expect system offers an increased preform output for lower capital investment for easier, more affordable entry into new markets. It offers also reduced risk with proven Husky precision, Husky reliability, and Husky technology. We bring you also more flexible, wider pitch mode to help you bring new applications to market quickly and cost effectively than ever before, and to produce preform with wider threads. The system is equipped with features to reduce mold change over time. And it can run in existing HPET tooling. The system is, of course, capable to run AirPad pellets for more sustainable packages. Finally, the system has been enhanced by a new optimal capability to produce multi-layer packages. And of course, all, this, all of these options are backed by the new Husky Complete approach, including services, support, training, and Advantage Plus Elite, our new 24-7 monitoring program. Let's look at the mold, next pet mold that go into these next pet systems. To get you that agility and adaptability, 
we have also developed our new purpose-built next pet mold with a design that allows the molds to contain fewer components than the standard tooling used for lock and load long run application. It was also recently upgraded this mold from 24 up to 72 cavities and introduced a new stack design to help you produce an even wider range of applications. This, along over conversion features, helps reduce the conversion and acquisition cost of the tooling required for the repeated introduction of several SKUs. Let's look at Husky Molds. Looking at the complete system solution, we are always finding ways to improve our molds to create unique synergies that deliver revolutionary capabilities. Here are some examples of enabling mold technology. For example, our self-cleaning technology a revolutionary automated process that eliminates hundreds of hours of mold maintenance while reducing the risk of short shot and making the cleaning process safer. That option is becoming a must for air pet resin use. And this is not me telling you that, but our customers who adopted that technology. Another example is our integrated mold alignment that reduces risk and saves time and money by prolonging mold life, extends time between regular maintenance intervals and provides ongoing feedback. Another example is our mold ID. Our mold ID tags communicate with the machine to automatically define the right process, the right maintenance and device features to run at high performance. Last but not least, as an example, our quick mold change that shortens preform to preform changes by up of 60% of the time. As you see, we are always finding ways to improve our molds to create unique synergies that deliver revolutionary capabilities. Let's look at Husky Hot Honor. The right Hot Honor technology can deliver superior reliability, balance, and optimized melt delivery for your specific application. Our ultra entrepreneurs maximize uptime because they require less maintenance and are easier to operate. Our entrepreneurs are equipped with fluted tips. This fluted tips technology extends maintenance intervals and increase uptime while maintaining and repeating an optimal plastic gate quality. Finally, our Ultra technology makes operation of the Ultraner easier with capability to start up in cold condition without linking, leaking and offer a larger process window. Let's look at solutions to convert your Husky mold. Partial or kit solutions that allow you to take advantage 
of lightweighting opportunities, fraud conversions, or new preform and bottle designs. We can offer you express small conversions that enable you to take advantage of conversion opportunities while minimizing downtime. Finally, our exhaustive conversion programs help producers to take advantage of the industry latest application for all areas of the preform, including, of course, the fret finish, but also the transition, the body, and last but not least, the base design. Of course, all these solutions allow you to stay competitive and provide your customer the most effective part design at the lower cost to produce. And how we'll do that? Let's look at how you'll get benefit of our packaging expertise. As our customers' business and production goals evolve with the fluctuating economic climate and changing consumer preferences, Husky is here to work with them every step of the way. Our global infrastructure, application know-how, molding knowledge, and design expertise supports customers from part concepts to completion, whether they are looking to tailor packages to specific consumer or local needs, align bottle properties with resin saving, or prototype and test parts to maximize performance. We work with customers to optimize the complete package, including preforms, bottle, and closure, to enable higher performance levels, right rate, and reduce part cost. And of course, this is achieved via a lightweighting approach, lightweight thread finishes and tethered closure solution that reduce part cost and resin use without sacrificing performance. This is also achieved via the services provided by our package development center, where you will quickly validate new package concepts with rapid turnaround of preform and closure samples or serial components. Finally, it will be achieved through a diverse dispensing system portfolio, a portfolio of proven standard and customized neck finish and closure designs for a variety of applications. In addition, Husky maintains the industry's most excess extensive service and support network. This includes Union, Honey, OEM, spare and replacement parts and upgrade options for machines, robots and auxiliaries, as well as components, repair or refurbishment. Plus, real-time process monitoring and preventive maintenance programs, including Advantage Plus Elite. Our customers operate in a highly competitive market, which often demands 24-7 operation of their equipment. Our proactive monitoring center monitors in real-time asset efficiency and proactively engage with customers to secure and maintain the lowest total cost of production. And how this is done? This is done through our nine part distribution centers, a 24 seven remote support, more than 100 team members dedicated to spare parts, where nine languages supported on our spare parts portal, more than 70,000 HPNs available, more than 250 service technicians, 
and a next day delivery to most locations with, of course, a global customer support. So what's next? You have a packaging ideas you'd like to explore. Stay in touch with us through our Husky link and you'll get a specific assessment of your particular case. Our idea here is to guide you, you through the examples and experiences we build up globally over years. It is already time for us to close that presentation. Please, let Fabrice and myself thank you again joining this webinar today. Um, Nick, we're ready for the Q&A session and we'll be glad to answer the best we can questions coming from the audience. Thank you, Sylvain and Fabrice, for that great presentation. Um, as Sylvain said, with that, it's time to turn to the question and answer portion of today's webinar. Just to remind everyone, please feel free to type any questions you have into the Q&A box below. Our speakers would love to hear from you and answer any queries you may have. Um, the first question we've had come in today is from Anthony, who asks, do you anticipate a trend towards minimizing CO2 footprint in packaging in the light of probable future reporting requirements on brand owners in the EU and USA? Okay, Fabrice, you want to answer that one, maybe? Yes, for sure, yes, uh, for sure, Sylvain. So, uh, at the ski, uh, this trend of CO2 uh, footprint reduction is really in our, I would say, DNA. Uh, reduction of CO2 footprint in general in the beverage packaging in industry is really a, a top high-level priority. Uh, and it is the case already for the last three, four years. And for sure, it has been emphasized by uh, the legislation uh, in uh, Europe and North America, by e-commerce as well, because uh, for sure, uh, CO2 uh, reduction is very important for e-commerce, and also uh, NGOs and consumer also uh, requirements, because uh, the final customer wants to know uh, the CO2 uh, footprint uh, generated by the package. So. When we are talking about CO2 footprint, uh, in fact, we are talking about greenhouse gas emission rate uh, that takes into account um, the, the complete manufacturing and supply chain of the package. So it's entire life cycle. And we do evaluate, uh, I would say quantitatively, the, the resource consumption, the environmental loads and impacts of, of a product throughout its life cycle. Uh, in this evaluation, uh, there are different industrial phases that have to be considered, uh, such as raw material extraction, uh, processing, manufacturing, uh, distribution, and, and disposal, and so on. So at Husky, uh, we do use a life cycle analysis huh, to a tool to evaluate uh, this uh, ET package overall sustainability, I would say. Uh, and it takes into account all relevant factors. So in this tool, you have, you have to consider all the main factors, such as extraction and melting energy, water consumption, uh, fossil fuel consumption, for example, as well. Even the land use, the land use is very important. The soil impact, uh, you have some of the parameters like the smoke, smoke potential or even ozone depletion and global warming uh, potential. So the, the tool is really very complicated. And as a baseline, anyway, uh, PET material does already offer many advantages versus uh, other materials uh, in regards to, 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 to CO2 footprint reduction. Because in fact, uh, it is easy to understand that because it is its main intrinsic advantage of lightweight PET material. So as an example, for, for the same volume, uh, PET package is eight uh, to ten times uh, I said before, uh, lighter than a glass package. So, uh, if we take as an example, huh, when we are talking about CO2 footprint, uh, when we take, for example, a 500 uh, ml water bottle, uh, I 
we say at 8 gram, 8.5, uh, we see that uh, an aluminum can, uh, 330 or 350 ml, generates normally twice more CO2 than the bottle. And it's even more the case with a glass bottle. 500 ml generates more than twice CO2 than, than PET package. So, what I, I, I would like to finish uh, the, que the question with this. So, there are two main solutions to boost CO2 footprint reduction uh, with PET. And it is really ultra lightweight initiatives and use of recycled PET. And it is logic huh, because you don't have this uh, extraction, I would say, energy with recycled PET. It's already uh, extracted. So, by and this, uh, when you reduce, you know, this uh, CO2 footprint, um, I would say, uh, gener uh, the generation of uh, this, is, for example, for six or seven gram, 500 ml water bottle, uh, if you use 100% of recycled PET, it, it generates only, I would say, 65 gram of CO2, which is three times less than, than a can and four times less than, than a glass uh, package. So I hope I, I, I was clear. I, I was maybe too long. I'm sorry. Yeah, F F Fabrice, maybe maybe you want you want also to elaborate uh, um, a bit more on how does recycled PET impact packages, you know, performance. I think this is also a, a question that yes. comes very often. Uh, in fact, you know, in the presentation we talked already about that because we say that we developed right. uh, some packaging three years ago. You know, with uh, that offers the same bottle performance as with virgin uh, uh, PET resin, but for sure. So it's already more than three, four years now that Husky is involved in this uh, all these uh, recycled PET injection projects uh, with different kind of resin quality grades uh, uh, in pellets or in flakes. So I would say we have a good experience already in uh, in injection. And, uh, and that's why we have built up a, a, an extensive experience and expertise in um, handling and controlling narrow injection process, uh, process windows, I mean. Uh, uh, because with recycled PET, the, the process, for sure, uh, process window, window is uh, uh, more narrow than uh, virgin PET. And we have some key adaptation kits on our machines. So we developed that uh, over the last uh, three, four years huh, to uh, to cope with the quality uh, grade of this uh, recycled PT. So we have for sure a bigger resin dryer, um, runner optimizations, uh, as you uh, presented it, uh, Sylvain. Uh, we have specific injection screw as well, especially uh, when we have pellet uh, cylindrical or spherical, because uh, the friction uh, is not the same. And for sure, the mold self-cleaning is very important, as you said, Sylvain, you know, because with recycled PET, uh, we really need this. It's not an option anymore. Uh, so two years ago, um, it was a big step forward. It was Coca-Cola and Matil. They launched their full CSD portfolio uh, in 100% uh, recycled PET. And why it was a big step forward? Because it's a CSD application. And you know that for bottle performance in CSD application, for sure, it is more demanding than a flat application because of bottle burst, you know, and so on, with high internal pressure and temp and pressure and temperature. So now on the market, we we see uh, plenty of CSD references. Huh? So uh, in North America, in Europe, uh, Western Europe, uh, Central Europe. With uh, I will not, I cannot say all the names of the customer, but there are really a lot now. And uh, uh, so this is, I would say, the answer of Husky uh, with the injection. But you know, the OEM as well, they made uh, many improvements on, on their uh, process settings and so on in order to handle this uh, quality grade of recycled PET. So they, uh, they, um, they have optimized their process settings to achieve a, a better material distribution uh, to guarantee the same level of performance as with Virgin PET resin. Uh, and finally, I would say, because we have, uh, okay, injection, blowing, but also, the, the recyclers, I would, I would say the, the process manufacturer, so mechanical or chemical huh, process, they are also evolving to uh, to enhance quality grade with, uh, you know, continuous technical improvements. Every year they, they, they really uh, improve their, uh, their, uh, their solution and uh, that really help 
everybody uh, to, to deal with this uh, recycled PET uh, in the packaging industry. We are all on board already. So I, I think that I have answered that. Thank you, Fabrice. Yes, excellent. Thank you for talking us through that, Fabrice. Um, the next question we've had come in is from Etham, um, and they ask, does Husky provide partnership in glass bottles as well? I will maybe answer that one. Um, we, we, we do not, but we will be glad to um, uh, work with um, uh, that person and uh, 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 promoting uh, the alternative PT packaging and, and showing uh, uh, the best sustainability uh, uh, proposals. So, unfortunately, we do not. Okay, thanks for clearing that up. Um, we now have a question from Amira who asks, do multi-layer applications have an impact on sustainability and the circular economy? So, if you want, Sylvain, I can answer to this question. Yeah, please, please. No, I, I am going to try to be short because it's yes, not please. the topic. Okay. So I would say uh, multi-layer technology uh, so at Husky really supports sustainability. Uh, first, through the use of a range of fully recyclable barrier materials. Uh, and second, uh, it's, it contributes to the circular economy by enabling the inclusion of recycled uh, content the package, so PCR, uh, like uh, recycled PET, or uh, even some other resin. So with these two points, yes, I, I can confirm that multi-layer technology really supports technology, uh, sustainability. I, I just want to go more maybe in, uh, <clears throat> in details, just to, uh, to share some, uh, some examples. So recently, uh, Husky was uh, recognized by uh, the Association of Plastic Recyclers, so the APR in North America. Uh, so we have been, uh, Husky was recognized for our innovation in developing a, a fully recyclable barrier package. So uh, I precise my mind. So it's using, using you know, uh, the, the Husky is for sure precise dosing because without the precision, you know, the injection capability of Husky, uh, you cannot uh, reach uh, this uh, sustainability requirement from APR and also by positioning the layer very well as well. So we can position the internal layer. So you saw the, the, the preformed design that we are on one of my slides. And for sure, we can adjust the positioning of this layer. Uh, and uh, on top of that, we, uh, we, we passed uh, the test of APR, in fact, with a, a new version of nylon. So, uh, so this is, for, for example, for uh, carbonated soft drink applications. Huh? So we have a fully uh, recyclable package. Then uh, what I would say is that, you know, uh, uh, there are additional recyclable, you know, uh, passive barrier options uh, that are coming to the market. Uh, I, and I, I say that in my presentation. So including PEF and even PGA. Huh? So this is a recyclable barrier material, which is very important. And also, there are some new sustainable versions of uh, oxygen scavengers um, that have been launched uh, recently, uh, such as uh, Amosorb and Valor. So new grades uh, of, uh, of oxygen scavengers that are sustainable. So uh, also, we are working you know, for all the dairies uh, application uh, with the TiO2 uh, content, which is a, well, it's a European regulation now on reducing, eliminating TiO2. So, in fact, what we have done is that uh, uh, we have really, uh, how to say, uh, minimized the load of TiO2. We can go to very, very low percentages. So the EU regulation, I think it was uh, the, the limit in France, it was 2% or 2.5, but we can go down to 0.5. Huh? So uh, it's not a problem. Uh, the regulation. So our system, the precision of the dosing of the layer really allows to decrease the amount of TiO2. So this is very good. And uh, in fact, what can I say also? In food packaging trends as well, uh, in fact, uh, we go to, you know, to compostable materials. So these materials can completely biodegrade in composting facility. Um, however, they typically need an additional barrier layer to, to for shelf life. 
And uh, that's why we need multi-layer for this kind of application. Uh, this barrier layer, and this barrier layer, by the way, is also compostable. So I think I have answered. I'm sorry, I was too. No, thank you. That was excellent again. Um, so our next question today is from Dom, um, and they ask: Husky promotes package expertise, but does Husky guarantee bottle performance, or does Husky only promote preform performance? Fabrice, I, I, I'll take that one, and I, I'll try really to be uh, to be to be fast. Um, um, uh, at, at a skill, first of all, so we are convinced that maximized preform performance can be best provided by a full injection system provider, huh? a provider that can uh, uh, supply the machine, the mold, the alternator, the complete uh, the, the complete system. And it's clear that the standalone injection mold uh, equipment supplier is unable to handle injection process windows better than a supplier like Husky, who provide that complete uh, uh, system. Uh, solution. So yes, we can really guarantee the preform uh, uh, performance, and we have uh, um, a lot of tools uh, to do uh, to do this. Um, for me, really, the question regarding bottle performance should be really rather be addressed with the question of how to guarantee bottle to preform performance, and this is because you cannot separate both sides. Um, and it's why this project should be handled in close collaboration between injection and uh, a blowing uh, partner. A blowing UEM cannot guarantee bottle performance on a competitive blower, especially for ultra weight or preferential heating project or even short neck conversion, because all these machine technologies are different and specific to every uh, um, uh, OEMs. And uh, um, when uh, um, uh, we're looking at uh, uh, the close collaborations, we build up with uh, with uh, um, all the, the, the major OEMs, and, and of course, uh, everybody uh, uh, is used to work with uh, OEMs like Sidel, KHS, Kronos. But we we we're really we we we're really working in close collaboration with uh, with uh, with all of them. And that, co that um, yes, that, that collaboration is also very true in developing uh, preform design. I, I give you an example: preform design with core change for different applications. In order to avoid designing a preform for each single bottle, customers and, and accordingly OEMs comes very often to us to optimize core change solution, and indeed. Uh, these OEMs are not always uh, full aware of Husky injection uh, um, uh, capabilities and Husky injection install machine and more base. So we do need, uh, they do need our support, they do need our expertise to be uh, the best oriented and providing the best optimized solution regarding that, uh, that core change. So I, I try to answer that question very um, um, quickly, uh, Nick, but this is really our daily uh, activities, and, and um, our customer um, uh, seek to uh, Husky supports to properly address um, what I call this bottle to perform performance. Thank you for the question. Thank you, Sylvan. Um, we're nearly at the top of the hour, but I'll try to squeeze in one more question. Um, so we have a question from Charlotte who asks, I understand that the NextPet system was launched earlier this year. Please let me know how many NextPet systems were sold as of today. Sure, 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 sure. Thank you uh, uh, for that question. Um, um, so as of today, we, uh, we've sold a dozen of, uh, of systems. Um, it includes uh, different uh, configurations, so I meet different uh, uh, plasticizing uh, uh, system. Um, two are already installed, plus there are um, uh, one that uh, we have been running for, for more than a year. So we have uh, sold um, these systems in, in almost uh, whole territories, in the Americas, in, in uh, 
in Southeast Asia, in Europe, in SARC. And actually, uh, uh, the application are, are, are diverse, but uh, mostly uh, in the water and the, and the juices um, uh, segment. Um, the biggest screws, uh, I mentioned before that we had several configurations, but uh, uh, the biggest uh, screws are mostly sold with this uh, next pet mold. And uh, maybe uh, uh, we see uh, um, a, a trend coming, uh, at least uh, in the, 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 the numerous uh, number of uh, uh, requests, inquiries we, we're getting. We see also a trend coming with a, a middle size um, injection unit where we can combine a 40 cavity tool. And uh, this is an excellent solution for uh, the water segment, for water preforms. Um, in uh, in markets where the flexibility is uh, is required and uh, so yeah we see this becoming uh, an excellent seller in uh, in uh, in markets like uh, like india for example thank you for that response um, i'm afraid we're out of time for today's webinar if we didn't get around to your question we will send you an answer by email I'd like to thank our speakers for being with us today and to remind you at home that this webinar will be available on demand for the next three months. Thank you for being with us today and goodbye.